With all of this talk about the end of cheap oil, I wondered about the future of our buildings and the components we've been using to construct them. Can we build successfully while reducing our carbon footprint? Can we build beautiful sound structures made from local materials that are efficient, affordable, and healthy without damage to the environment? Natural builder Kay Cafaso and I talked about these very issues. When we build a house out of straw bales, right, we are not only carbon neutral, right, right, we are taking carbon from the atmosphere and we're sequestering it in our wall. I love sequestering. If we grow a grain and harvest the tops for cereal or something, right, mm -hmm. and then like in so many places the straw is a waste product and then people either burn it or they decompose it mm. and then it goes back into the atmosphere, right? But if the straw is actually utilized for so many beneficial reasons in our home, then we're sequestering that carbon for the lifetime of the home. Um, I've worked on straw bale homes in the arid climates, in desert environments. I've worked on straw bale homes in moist, temperate environments. You know, places of extreme fluctuations of temperature, humidity. Right. And for so many climates, you know, where straw is available, this is the choice. This is the top building material. Hooray. I believe. Right. Okay, wait, back up. Embodied and, energy. Can we talk oh. about that for one second? Yeah. We uh, can. What, is, what exactly does that mean? So you, you add up all of the energy that went into sourcing materials to construct, um, say, I don't know, common objects in our house. So where did that material come from? Mm -hmm. It came from source of material somewhere, extraction of material, mm -hmm. right? Minerals or whatnot. Some kind of factory processing, right? creation of the material, then moving it around the globe to do some fine tuning and fixing and whatnot, and then right. sending it to the distribution point in the stores, and then someone from their home or the project site manager goes to the place, picks it up, and all the energy and all the fuel that goes into right. creating that material, bringing it to the house and putting it into the wall, right. Right. is the basic right. concept of embodied energy. Okay. In the last 50 years, we've consumed more resources on this planet than our entire human civilization on record. We're building a structure that's very rigid and strong and sturdy, say out of you know cement or or vinyl or whatnot, then you know are we thinking about how that's impacting us many generations from now environmentally? Have we been thinking about that? I don't I think that might be part of it, not having that awareness at all times of okay, all of this shipping in this construction phase, how is this going to impact the people who come after us? Mm -hmm. so the straw bales would like to stay dry. So Is, what is that their do, personal request? This is their request, okay. yeah, because then they can say like, all right, we've captured the carbon, we're just gonna stay nice and dry and hold this carbon for the planet, right? This is their, what they want to do. So, so sweet. So yeah, so we're coating them and protecting the straw bales from the elements, from storms. Okay, what is this plaster oh, made sorry. of? So it's made of stuff from the earth. Wood, clay, sand, straw, water, stone, flour. Flour, you can eat it almost. Yeah. It's delicious. It's amazing. It's like a biscuit. But this is also, this is a lime plaster. So there's, right, so. there's the added ingredient of yes. lime. Yes, yes, yes. So behind this lime plaster is the earth plaster that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. This plaster then covers that one. It's like another coat over the earth plaster. And we chose to do that because here it's really moist environments and the lime plaster has an ability to be very weather resistant. Mm -hmm. And so it's an added weather proofing. In America, we really, really experience a lot of the cement industry. So, you know, I think we could maybe make a shift towards more of a lime, limestone. Because cement is tremendously polluting. Polluting, uh, emitting of CO2 to the atmosphere, it, yeah, it's yeah. up there. I also know that the, the lime absorbs carbon, is yeah. that true? So it's a beautiful, like another that living. That blows my mind. Yeah. It blows it's my mind. alive, basically. It's alive. It goes in a circle in its life cycle. Slowly, it starts to trade the water in the lime plaster for CO2. Okay, so it's a little switch out, a little switcheroo. Yeah. Water leaves, it takes in the carbon. Yeah. Okay, so it's helping us out, essentially. Okay. Yeah. So the straw taking in carbon, the lime is pulling the CO2 yeah. 
out of the air. For a few years. It, for it years. Sounds, it keeps it, pulling that It in. sounds to me like it's like a fantasy or a fairy tale or... A, do you know what I mean? Or like, like something really good. A, a or, truth some, or, or something. Or something really good. <laughs> it's not a fantasy. It's just actually good. <laughs> it just actually works. Right? Then we have this beneficial connection to the buildings that shelter us. Like, we understand them. We know how to fix them. We know how to build them. We can build them with our friends right. and our families. I did it. Look at this. I mean, I, there's not much here. This is the point. There's not much here. But yet, <laughs> we can do this. Yeah. Kids yeah. can do it. Women can do it. Yeah. Old people can do it. Yeah. You know? We yeah. can all do this. We can yeah. all do this. So it builds community. It builds it community. It takes carbon out of the air. Yep. Uh, it's using local resources, which means uh, local people are being employed, paid, employed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, local economy. We can get involved in this building process and work together and have homes that are healthy, healthy, efficient, and even healing to the ecosystem mm. in terms of taking in all of this carbon. Right. I think it's, this is the best way to build.